Remember when your dashboard only had a few buttons for the radio, heater, maybe the air conditioner? Now there's GPS, social media, email, and text. A study out today says that's made driving more dangerous. Transportation correspondent Chris Van Cleve shows why. Taking your eyes off the road like this for as little as two seconds doubles the risk of a crash. 4050 South, Salt Lake City, Utah. The AAA Foundation study found the infotainment systems in all vehicles tested led to potentially dangerous distractions, which could be made worse by frustration over system errors. I hate the stupid touch screens. 23 of the systems generated high or very high demand on drivers' attention. None of the 30 vehicles were found to have low demand. Programming the navigation system was the most distracting task, taking on average 40 seconds. At 25 miles per hour, a driver would travel four football fields during that time. 40 seconds is too long to be engaged in some kind of non-driving related activity. University of Utah professor David Strayer was the lead researcher on the study. You just need to keep your eyes on the road. And if anyone's suggesting that it's okay to take your eyes off the road, that's just not consistent with sound science. I'm surprised that these cars or any of these cars last more than five minutes because of the distractions. Lloyd Ecker drives a Tesla S. One of the cars ranked as most demanding of a driver's attention. <laughs> because I am distracted and it was too much. I mean, there's like 500 things on this, this board. So you put up a screensaver so you wouldn't be distracted? Absolutely did it on purpose. The auto industry is pushing back through its trade association, saying while it will carefully review the findings, it has long-standing concerns about the research methods used. Carmakers point to this. The Jeep Grand Cherokee and the Dodge Durango scored differently in this study, but Fiat Chrysler says the infotainment systems are functionally identical. Anthony? Chris Van Cleve with a little driver's head. Thanks, Chris. Coming up, the nominations are in for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame's Class of 2018.